Hi oh, guys, it's Dave here at the Humble Trekker channel. How are you doing this fine day? I will be reviewing this wonderful inflatable bed. It is 185 centimeters from top to toe. It's just over six foot, about six foot and a half inch. It is 60 centimeters wide. That is two feet wide. The thickness on the main part of the bedding is 60 millimeters, six centimeters, about an inch and a half. It has a included or an inclusive pillow area. And it has an inflating portion here, which I'm gonna demonstrate, show you how you can inflate it with your hands, or your feet, and not just your lungs. And it is made by the company Outdoors Nature Hike. And it is named their ultralight model. And it weighs approximately 470 grams. Four hundred and seventy grams is about eighteen ounces, so a pound and a couple of ounces. It is one complete compartment. As you see, the main area, eighty percent of it, is this waffle type design. So the actual nylon or plastic of the bed is glued to itself, and then there's compartments which give it a kind of a a waffle form. The pillow is one, two horizontal reinforced structures. And on the back is the main valve for emptying or filling with your lungs. At this end, at the foot end, you've got the hand or the foot inflation method, which I'll demonstrate straight away. This is an inflatable camping mat with a built-in pump, believe it or not. It's the first time I've ever had one like this. I've seen them in the stores, but it's the first time I've ever got hold of one myself. So it's about eight inches long, three inches wide, and two and a half, three inches deep. And it's kind of a, if you can see inside, it's a white sponge. And the idea with it, to pump it, is you put your hand over it like this, and that pumps up the bed. You've got to do it on the floor, I can't do it standing up. So I'll take it down to the floor and show you. What's happening here is this sponge or foam captures air within itself. And then when you put your hands over here, it expels that air out into the main body of the bed. When you lift up again, the air is trapped in the bed, it doesn't come back out, and you push down again. And I've found that this is a very, very slow way of doing it. The best way I've found to do it is with your hands like this. But then there's also pictures on the manual where it shows you with your foot going up and down like that. I can only do that barefoot, I can't do it with shoes on. And as you can see, it's not exactly going up like a rocket. I'm not terribly impressed with this method. So I normally, or well, what I will be doing with this, bed is not using that method. Instead I'll just be using the main valve and blowing up with the old breath power. As you see the air doesn't come out. So, Laurel and Ardia, a dozen good blows and it's up, ready to lay on. Voila! It never hurts for an inflatable mat to be easily deflated. Deflation method is open the manual valve here. And to show you, when the valve is opened like this, there's a rubber non return valve there, so no air actually comes out, which is a good thing there so you're not panicking if this accidentally falls out when you're filling it.
also for deflation open the, the bottom foot hand pump valve put your finger in there and pull out that rubber non-return flap so it's like that and then as you can see well it comes down really quickly I didn't really have to do much at all it's already started to almost completely empty itself you can just push it out and roll it up with inflatable mattresses like this there's always nearly a best tactic for how you get it back in the packet and wrapped up as small as possible normally what I find is taking it in two steps so I roll it up once to get all the air pushed out as much as the air as you can there's always a little bit left in there and see how it goes actually and then to get it as small as possible just take a second pass at it and this time fold the wings in like this and then wrap roll rock and roll it up the wind that's the problem when you're camping the wind you can always wrap stuff up nicely at home when you're practicing that's the problem when you're trying to wrap stuff up is the wind it always blows it around when you're trying to get it nice and compact Too bad a job and it comes with its own nylon bag which it fits into thus there's the pack size you can eyeball that and estimate if you think that's large small or medium you do get a puncture repair kit there's a small pocket that hangs inside the bag and it comes with a couple of nylon patches and some rubber glue. In conclusion, it's just a basic inflatable mattress. So far, I give it a thumbs up. I've reviewed kind of like the sister version of this in mummy size before. Check out that video, which is the mummy shape. This is like the full rectangular shape bed. A uh, question about availability. There is a link in the description box where you can get this on Gearbest. The price is about $60, but there's something funny going on here because I've ordered this and I ordered the one which is in the link in the description box and it doesn't have this kind of funky hand foot pump in it. So I don't know why I've got sent this one with the pump in it because I can't actually find this exact bed on Gearbest. But there's a link to this bed without that pump, which I think is actually, should be a better bed because it'll be a little bit lighter in that pump doesn't seem to work. Maybe that's why they're not selling it with the pump anymore. And what I will be doing, or trying to do, is trying to pull out this sponge because it doesn't work as a pump and it just makes it a little bit heavier. Maybe I can scrape off a few grams by pulling it out. Thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber, thanks for being a subscriber. That supports the channel greatly. If you've enjoyed this video and you're not yet a subscriber, I do come out of regular gear reviews so click that subscribe button and then you'll be notified when the next one comes out. Take it easy and sleep well.